الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه بعد يوم وما سجما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إذا متنا ركوا من أشكن سورة لقمان الحكيم كما من كهر آية عشرين ده هدو زام تاش أكن آية عشرين ده بير إن الله مجنع أوكاي كتشوا ولا إن سألتهم من خلق السماوات والأرض. ولا إن سألتهم من خلق السماوات والأرض لا يقولون الله. قل الحمد لله بل أكثرهم لا يعلمون. ولا إن سألتهم هل لكم دلاك تنبيس؟ كم دلاك مسؤول تنبيا؟ من خلق السماوات وانين ودها لتشوى تعين سمي وإن سمن دمكي غني موري منا غني سمن دي أكم أكم ود مكي غني أكو ديوشي تو أكو سمي بدا بوكي سبع سماوات سمي نود دي كده باين دي أحر بدا بوكي تو دلاك تنبيس من خلق السماوات وانين لتشوى إن سمن والأرض دكما كسا ود مكي أكاي مكي تاكاوا مكي قانا أكاي مكي مورن أوو دام أكما تعينين كسا إذا كتم بيو تعينين كابري مشركي وياه لشوانا ليقولن الله دسندا شيء دكاي وتعينين الله لي بعوما كان سنيس كالي تيسو كمسو باسو سكالي تيسو سو كم بعد أن سنتيو الله لي دعسيا Wadi shini mahali chumkowa Imam Tabari Anayiki chua Wala insa altaha ula el mushirikin Ndalak tendua anchanenka wa ena mushirikan Mankhalak ahazi samawati Waya hali chua ena samangu wal abda kasa Lekulana khalaka hunna Allah Zawsi lalewa ni hali chisu kabaki Da shini Allah tabarakwa Tuwa wun sayi waka mamayi Idan haza a tambaye me botan gunki na Makka waye wannan halittun kuma ya kada bakin sai bude babu kunya yace Allah ne to ya za a yi bauta gumaka ta yaya me zai sa irin wannan mutumin da ya bada wannan asa yaje kuma yana dukusawa gunki yana mashi bauta To idan sun bada wannan ansa a ji Allah ta'ala yace wa annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alhamdulillah to ka ga to to kai godiya ka ce alhamdulillah ka ce dukkan godiya ta tabbata ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da yabo dukkan Allah ne tabaraka wa ta'ala domin har suka bude baki suka bude gaskiya suka ce Allah ne amma kuma su gagara bauta mu Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala su gagara kadai tashi arbubiyan sa wato a cewa shine mahalicin kowa da komai kuma su kasa kadai tashi a uluhiyan sa cewa shi Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala dai wannan aiki shi kadai shi ya cancanci abota musa da kuma sunayen sa da siffofin sa a kadai tashi a ciki ba tare da an canza musu yanayi koma ana ba kullu alhamdulillah ka ce dukkan godiya sun tabbata ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala wadda wannan halittun Si Allah Ta'ala yaitu Bal aksaruhum la ya'lamu Haa Ayy mapi yawan chinsu Al-Amari naga sikia Mapi yawan chinsu La ya'lamu Basa da sani jahilaini Bawa sang Allah ba Duwan di sang Allah Bawa di buta mawana Allah ba Allah ya wucha kasan shi sani Saan nangku maka zaabuwa na'u ba shi wajan buta Wanai ini nalu nak jahil cuma tunggu bagi dia. Di inda ilmu mungkin ya kay. Kuan iring ilmu ini kuah. Idang kalau wanai ilmu mula tak ganat desi sang Allah ba. Muin wanai ilmu mula tak ganat desi buat sama Allah ba. Tuan yang ini nanti mukar jahili. Si salah salah si bal aksaruhum 
laya alamu ma piye wan chinsu basu da sani wada baya da sani tu jahili idan kana neman jahili cikekke to kafiri mai bota gunki shine lambawa kuma musulmi ya gode mu Allah da Allah ta'ala ya shirye da shi zuwa fahimtan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala domin Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala domin duk inda kai da wayo duk inda kai da dabara idan Allah ta'ala bai baka basira zaka gane Allah ba sai mutun ya kasance cikin irin wannan yanayi da suke ci Allah ya tsare na surah luqman verse 25 Allah says wala in sa'altahum man khalaq as-samawati wal ard if you were to ask them meaning the kuffar though they denied Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still if you are to ask them a question man khalaq as-samawati wal ard who created the heavens and the earth la yaquluna allah they will definitely reply that it is Allah who created them this mighty canopy on top of us we can only see one however on top of it are seven heavens Allah alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawati so also the earth also seven wa min al ardi mithlahun so who has created all these mighty creatures their answer will be but uh, it is allah who created them so therefore you should say qul alhamdulillah you should say alhamdulillah for that praises belong to allah the most high because they have established proof against themselves that they do not have any reason for worshiping other deities apart from allah the most high bal aktharuhum la ya'lamun raza aktharuhum most of them la ya'lamun they do not know they are ignorant that is why despite their confession that it is allah the most high who created them and then they deny the right of being worshiped to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they take that to either objects or deities who were created by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let alone even creating the heavens or the earth or anything less, less than that they have not done that therefore for a muslim whose allah whom allah the most high opens his heart to confess and to accept that it is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the creator that is the tawhid of rububiyya he also confess that allah is the only deity worthy of being worshiped that is the tawhid of uluhiyya such a personality should therefore thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it is not his own making that makes him to be a muslim raza it is allah the most high that inspire him to be a muslim to accept easily that allah is the creator and allah is the one worthy of being worshiped lillahi ma fi samawati wal ard ان الله هو الغني الحميد الله تعالى شي على شي سمي كما شي على شي وتو عين قصا انا سي الله تعالى كما شيوا لله ما في السماوات والارض ابن لك cikin sammai da abin da ke cikin sa dukkan nan su mallakan Allah ne Allah tabarak wa ta'ala shi mallake su na sani abin da ke ci gaba ke daya babu na wani dan adam a ciki babu na wani jinnu a ciki babu na kowa a ciki na shi kayan sa kaga halitta na sani mallakan abin da ke ci ma na sani duk abin da ka sani a cikin sammai na daga mala'iku na daga rana wata taurari gajima girgije duk abin da ka sani da wanda ba ka sani ba to mallakan Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ne haka ma kasa da dan adam da jinnu da dabbobi da macizai da kunama kunamu da ko duk abin da ka sani hatta wannan kiyashin da ke tafiya a ban kasa na Allah ne da kwayan kasan karan kanta na shi da ruwa wanda ke kewaye da kasa duka na Allah ne abin da ke tsorowa ga baki daya na Allah ne bai cin kuma da man shi halicce su 
mallakar sa ce inna allah la ilaha illallah huwal gani allah shine wadata ce ya wadata baya bukatan komai a wajen kowa mu mutane mu ne mabukata mu ke bukatan wani abu wajen allah tabarak wa ta'ala antum al fuqara ila allah ko ne bukata zuwa ga allah allah baya bukatan komai da kake tunani kuma a wannan gaba na wadatan allah tabarak wa ta'ala da kuma bukatuwan dan adam duk inda dan adam ya kai da samu sai ya kara bukatuwa zuwa ga allah tabarak wa ta'ala hasali masu ma mallakan abin da allah ta'ala ba su na duniya sun fi yawan bukatu akan wadda ba su da shi kaga dan adam idan a ce misali shuruwan kasa ne kada ganin kamar shine kula a kasan ku ko a wata kasa to shi ma yana da bukatu ba su da iyaka yana da bukatun abin da zai ci yana bukatun abin da zai sha yana da bukatun a tsare mar wannan mulkin kar wani ya kwace yana da bukatun sojoji yan sanda yana da bukatun masu kariya kai yanzu ta yi baka da bukatun mai kare ka sai police ɗaya da bindiga shi yana da bukatun bunduna in zai motsa a raka shi in zai kwanta a tsare shi in zai fita a bi shi in zai kaza duka bukatuwa ce hasali duniya yawan ma samun ta yawan bukatuwan ka da kai wani dan karyaran gida to kana bukatun mai gadi kana bukatun a sawa ya manya mai kana bukatun katan kare wadda zai dinga hawo shi ana kakkaucewa gidan shi ta laka wadda yake laki uku hudu waya da bukatun komai illa ya shiga kawai kwanta abin sai mutun sa saka shi bukata dan adam baya karewa amma shi Allah shine wadda ta ce baya bukatun komai a wajen kowa amma dan adam yana da bukatu ta laka shi ma yana da bukata yana tunanin awun da za a gidan sa yau abin da za a ce da dare idan ma an samu dare yau to ya gobe da za ka yana da bukata marar lafiya yana da bukatan lafiya wanda yake lafiya yana bukatan karin lafiya wanda yake da kudi yana bukatan karin kudi wanda ba yana da shi yana bukatan a bashi kowa da ka gani yana da bukatu Allah kadai shine wadata sai kuma bayan sa wanda ya bama wato ainihin kana'a wadata zuci to su ma ba ba su da bukatun bane a'a amma su masu yadda ne da kasan da aka musu su masu yadda ne da kasan da aka musu kuma masu godiya akai amma ko su suna da bukata Allah gani shine Allah tabarak wa ta'ala alhamid shine godadde Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ko mun gode mu Allah ko mu gode mu Allah amma su gode mai suna dan ba su da iya kisa mutun ya gaggawa ya kasance cikin masu gode mu Allah na ni'imomin da yi ba su kirguwa ni'iman lafiya ni'iman hankali ni'iman wato ainihin abin da zaka ci kama ci din wani yana yanzu abin da zai cin gashi amma ba zai yi ci ba ni'imomin da Allah ta'ala ya wadan adam ba su kirguwa na bayyane da na koyi so haka mu gode mu Allah tabarak wa ta'ala idan mun gode mu shi sai kara mana idan mu taki gode mu Allah daman godiyar kawa kanka ne can bayar makaranta na lukman alhakim da aka ce gode to ya gode dan ya kara samun martaba da matsayi a wajen Allah tabarak wa ta'ala idan kuma yake godewa duk wadda yake godewa to bai rage wa Allah komai ba wa man yashkur fa inna ma yashkur li nafsi duk wanda yake godiya to yana godiyar ne wa kansa wanda kuma yace ba zai gode ba Allah ba ya bukatan godiyarsa hasali ma in ka gode ba zai kara Allah da kowa ba Allah godadde ne Allah ta'ala ya 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 wato godiyarsa ta ci cikakka ci ba ta da rai karawanka godiyarka bai karawa bai rage komai saboda kuma kara gode mu Allah tabarak wa ta'ala duk da muna cikin wani irin yanayi mawuya ce a yanzu na abubuwan da suke faruwa musamman a labaran da ke iso mana shekarun jiya ba su da dadi akan abin da ake na kashe kashe na bayan Allah bas ce ba bas sha ba bas ilafi ba bas mallaki duniyan nan ba 
amma sai ka kashe wa ake ustaz sun ga hotun da aka turo na mutane da aka kashe aka tsara ina nufin jihar ka tsara kauyi kanta abun ka ce ba a cikin ramadan ake ba to duk da wannan akwai bukatan godiya da istighfar godiya ala ala kulli halin alhamdulillah ala kulli halin mun gode mu Allah a cikin kowane irin yanayi amma labarin bayi da dadi ko daya Allah ta'ala ya mana magani na'am lillahi ma fi samawati wal ard to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and in the earth meaning Allah the most high confirms the ownership of the heavens itself the earth itself and whatever is therein they have been created by Allah the most high he is the owner and the controller and he is the manager of whatever is therein in Allah who al ghani al hamid indeed Allah is al ghani is self sufficient al hamid the praise worthy so just as the previous verse indicated that if you are to ask the disbelievers who created the heavens and the earth their answer will their answer will be nothing but to confirm such activity to Allah the most high then now whether they confirm it or they did not Allah the most high confirms that to himself by saying lillahi ma fi samawati wal ard to Allah belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth and nobody can dispute this because if one disputes it then let him show us who is the creator I, I, even in history we have never we are yet to come across a book written by any human being claiming that these mighty creatures were there for nothing or were created by another person even the disbelievers confirm that to Allah the most high in Allah who al ghani certainly Allah the most high who al ghani is self sufficient meaning Allah the most high does not like does not love anything does not like anything from anybody rather he is the owner whatever you see anybody uh, possessing it is Allah's own making no one can possess anything except what Allah the most high destined for him to possess and Allah being the self sufficient he does not need any assistance from anybody he does not need any help from anybody however a human being no matter how highly placed he is no matter how influential that person is then he needs help from other people rather the more highly placed you become the more your weakness manifest the more you need assistance and help from other people that is why if you are to point at maybe the most influential person in a country maybe you will say the president of that particular country but if you consider a president you will see him he needs more help more assistance than you who do not have anything the president needs ministers he need advisors he needs securities he need this he need that in order to help him in the discharge of that duty of a managing that particular country so also should a person be rich his needs for assistance is more than that of a poor person if one is a poor he does not need anything nobody he does not need any security from anybody he does not need to construct his house with tall pens and with wire with electric shock he does not need uh, bulletproof doors all of this he does not need them he requests no driver he requests no cook so the more hands you require in order to assist you the more your weakness manifest the more it is clear that you are weak before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala though despite being the controller the manager of the heavens and the earth requires no assistance from anybody 
Allah the Most High is great. Allah, Allah who al Ghaniul Hamid, and Allah is Hamid, is the praiseworthy uh, a king. Meaning, everything and everybody requires to praise, to praise Allah the Most High for His infinite mercies and for unlimited favors that Allah the Most High bestowed on that uh, thing. That's why a Muslim is required to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at whatever point in time or at whatever situation. If the situation is favorable, you should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that he increase that favor on you. If the situation is not favorable, you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala kulli hali so that Allah will clear away that situation uh, from you. However, today we find out that the gratitude we extend to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is but a very little one. Despite all that Allah the Most High has done for us, but our gratitude is just uh, in a small uh, quantity. Uh, Allah deserves our praises and our gratitude at whatever point in time. If Allah makes you favorable, you must thank Him. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exposes you to any form of adversity, you must, we must thank Him just like the situation we are experiencing in this country today, especially in the northern part, with particular references to Zampara State and Katuna. Even yesterday, reports have confirmed killing of so many innocent souls. Those people possess nothing. Even their daily bread, they do not have. They do not have light, no road, nothing. But they are just being killed like that. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we thank him for that situation and we ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring about a stop to that situation. So that's why we have to thank him even in a difficult condition so that he will respond to our prayers and he will clear away adversities. Allah the Most High solve all our individual and collective problems. ولو أن ما في الأرض من شجرة أغلام والبحر يمده من بعده سبعة من بعده سبعة أبحر ما نفدت كلمات الله إن الله عزيز حكيم ولتن أدم بي إياه سني إياه كان أبند الله تبارك وتعالى كيد شينا إلمي Kumadu abin nak bawa madang Adam na ilmi, nang kena nak bash. Bekai chicken chow kali ba. Kay bekai kasar waktu aining tanya tangka. Ati aku kata gak bawa abang dia aku nak luar. Ia untuk sih na ilmi nang Adam bekai hakap. Kudo meng ia untuk nang Adam ia gani. Ia faham cuma nanti kau si Allah taala ya bayar amisal chi ibadat misali. Ibang Allah taala na bunga misali daban daban. Sebut nang ada mapi kerang cium payem cai payem cide kau. Domen demi salai al amur asna bayan awajam bayani na ilim. Allah taala sayi cie awan nang ayah. Walau anna ma fil ardi min shajaratin aqlam. Dah duk yang abin dah cie cie obisia. Ko itacia wal fikir suruwa. Dega kasat suru tulan tu itacia. Dari zaman tua ini, angharat asu, ayi alkaluma asu. Ini adalah masalah yang aku ini bishui dewa cina. Dari aku antar dasu. Duk abin dek jikina itu aje amai dasuah tu ayi ning alkalami. Ini alkalami dek aje rubutu dasi asa tawada. Abu ku ma ana dasi dah. Dah kata entah ada nyara aji, kata tangkap baca aji, kata tangkap lebaga. Saya mesti nyesat tangkap alkalam yang saat ini, kata tangkap kuluah sesa. Muka amak rancang Allah dah mang dua dek, ia buat Allah sendiri buat ada kan sesu, ia tu ambil amash. Dua neng alkalam ini tu ada, ia nasi kawai nasi kawai. Har tu ada tak ada yang saat ini jika wani. Tu alat alat yang ada musali dua minat tangkap ada megani dekau. Dasar aje duk waktu ayam bishu in dunia gabat eh bana nang masalah cemba. Bana apa kerawan? Bana najer abu duk dunia apa nanti dah itu tuan tak? Amai dah kau ni itu aje waktu ayam ayam nang 
wana alkalami kaga abisha da ana isa mun alkaluma dari ko dubu bisa girman bisha to haka za a kwanta dukkan bishoyin duniya kab a mai da su wato ainin alkalami Allah ta'ala ce walau anna ma fil ardi min shajaratin aklamu da an mai da dukkan wayannan itatuwan gaba daya an mai da su alkalami bangare dai kenan wal baharu yamudduhu min ba'dihi sab'atu abhurin sa'an nan a mai da ruwan teku a mai da ruwan teku shine tawada kaga alkaluma nan ko ga tawada kuma ruwan teku ba ruwan rijiya ba ba na fanfo ba teku ruwan da ke ban kasa yawan sa da fadin sa ya fi kasan girma yanzu ga najeriya muna taka kasa ba daga nan hali ko kasa duka akwai kuguna idan ka irga ruwa wadda ke yawo a kasa da kasan ruwa ya fi kasa yawa to idan ka tika wannan ruwan na teku kamar da shi ta wada ka dauko wannan kalmomin alkalmomin da kai din nan na itatuwan duniya gaba daya ka kana da alkalma miliyoyi kana da ruwan teku babu iyaka to idan ana saka wannan alkalmin ana rubutu kalmomin Allah a saka ai rubutu a saka ai rubutu idan wannan ruwan teku ya kare a sake dauko wannan teku shi ma ya kare a sake dauko wannan uku ya kare dauko na kudu ya kare na biyar ya kare na shida ya kare na bakwai ma tekun ya kare kalmomin Allah ba za su kare ba wannan masu rubutun da wannan ruwan da ke bushewa na tawada har yanzu ka samu kalmomin Allah ta'ala suna nan saboda yawan su Allah masayi ne na komai kuma yana da kalmomi masu yawa shi sa malamai ke cewa wannan ayin tana ba wa dan adam misalin ilimin Allah tabarak wa ta'ala da yawan ilimin Allah tabarak wa ta'ala babu wanda zaka dauko ka ce wai ruwan teku yana tawada ana rubutu alkalami a ce wai 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 ruwan teku ya kare wannan kalmomin ba su kare ba teku ya ba wasa bane ka ko ruwan rijiya aka ce ana saka ta wada ana fitarwa har ruwan rijiya ya kare kalmomi ba su kare ba kai ka san wayannan kalmomin suna dewa bare teku na duniya gaba daya bare ba daya ba ya kare na duniya gaba daya saki kawo wani ya ta karewa har sau bakwai kalmomin Allah suna nan ba su kare ba wannan tekun ya kare wannan alkalmin duka sun kare amma ga ga kalmomin Allah suna nan ma na fitar kalimatu la kalmomin Allah ba za su kare inna Allah shi Allah azizun Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mabuwai ne a cikin mulkin sa abin da ya gida ma abin da yake so shi ke tabbata inna ma amruhu idha arada shay'an an yaqul lahu kun fayku dun abin da Allah ta'ala yake bukata yake so shi ke tabbata ba mai iya canzawa ba mai iya cewa ga abin da nake so ko kuma ga ra'ayina ko ga shawara mulkin duniya ne bayyuwa sai da shawarwar mutane ko fir'aun da ya mulki irin na kama kariya yana neman shawarwar mutanen sa su ma suna bayin shawarwari miya go shawarwari shi Allah bai bukatan komai na kowa a mulkin sa abuwa ya sai abuwa ya shi shigal alhakimu Allah hakimun kuma Allah ta'ala mai hikima ne duk al'amarin da yake akwai hikima a cikin sa idan yayi ka dan adam kamar da yayin wa'an adam akwai hikima a cikin sa'annan da yayin muna musulmai akwai hikima a cikin sa'annan kuma bayan yayin muna musulmai yau dan su masu kudi akwai hikima a cikin yau su tadakawa akwai hikima wa'an sarakuna wasu masu ilimi wasu masu ayya wasu ba su da wasu da lafiya wasu ba su da wasu yau suna da lafiya gobo ba su da shi ko kuma gobo suna da lafiya jiji ba su da shi duk abin da Allah tabarak wa ta'ala yayi akwai hikima ce dan adam ya gane ko bai gane ba shi Allah ta'ala hakimun ne Allah ya kara mana iman na Allah the most high in this verse has given us an example that will make us to imagine at least to imagine how wide how unlimited in the scope of the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said walaw anna ma fil ardi min shajaratin aqlam should whatever is on the earth of trees a aqlam a pens virus 
meant for writing. Walbahru yamudduhu, and an ocean serves as an ink in order to write or exhaust the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in addition to that one ocean or one sea another additional seven seas are brought together to serve as ink in order to ensure that the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is exhausted by writing ma nafidat kalimatullah the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never be exhausted. This is just a similitude that will make human being to imagine how knowledgeable is Allah the Most High. If you are to give yourself an experiment, bring a, a bucket, just a, a bucket of an ink, start writing on slate. You spend many years without exist, existing that bucket. What more of a river? What more of an ocean? What more of in addition to one ocean, seven more were brought together in order to ensure that the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are written and are existed. Allah the Most High is great. Then what of the trees? Consider the bush we have, even the trees we have around our mosque here. If you are to cut them into pieces, tear them tiny, tiny in form of pen, how many pens are you going to get? You are going to get millions of pens. What more of the bush we have from here to Kaduna or from here to Lagos? What of the bush in Africa, in Asia, in other continents? all of them brought together and they have been transformed into pens how many pens are you going to get nobody can even mention the number in terms of enumeration or counting so should anybody even know the number so let them be used as pens and let the water of oceans seven oceans be used as say uh, ink so that the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be written and existed kalimatullah the words of Allah or the knowledge of Allah can never be existed Allahu Akbar Inna Allah azizun hakim Allah the most high is aziz is mighty hakim Allah the most high is wise he is full of wisdom of whatever he does he makes someone to be a leader Someone to be a subject, someone rich, someone poor, someone knowledgeable, someone ignorant, someone hefty in his body, and someone very tiny, someone kind, and someone aggressive. Allah the Most High, whatever He, he creates, there is wisdom in that, only that uh, it can, that cannot be comprehended except by those who believe in Him. ما خلقكم ولا بعثكم إلا كنفس واحدة إن الله سميع بصير ما خلقكم ولا بعثكم إلا كنفس واحدة هل تركوا دماغ متعدد كوجا باكيدا هل تند الله تعالى تند كان النبي آدم عليه الصلاة والسلام ذوائه da kuma wannan za a halitta bayan mu na daga dan adam ko aljan ko mala'ika ko dabbobi ko kiyashi duk abin da suke da rai halitta da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala yi shi halice mu wato da kuma wato tayar da mu idan ya kashe mu bayan ya dauki rayukan bayan kowa ya mutu ya matar da mu kaga abun yana dewa sai kace mutanen suna dewa miliyoyin mutane ko kuma dai triliyoyin mutane biliyoyi sai kuma aikin yana da wahala da tayar wanda kashe wa to shi a wajen Allah ta'ala illa ka nafsin wahida tamkar kamar halittan rai daya ko matar da rai daya haka yake a wajen Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala wannan aikin mai yawa ba bambanci wannan rayukan gabaki daya da Allah zai halice su 
ko kuma da Allah ta'ala zai matar da su za ga abu ne mai yawa shi a wajen sa da na dukan gaba daya da na mutun daya duk dai ne a wajen sa da man ba da umurni ne kawai inna ma amru idha arada shay'an an yaqul lahu kun fa duk abin da yake nufi duk girman abu ne yawan abu idan yace abun ya kasance kasancewa zai kya ga in yana son rai waya daya kasance cewa zai kasance to yana son biliyoyi ma cewa zai kasance saboda kama aiki daya ne kawai dan adam bai iya wannan dan adam idan kace mashi yayi kisa misali bai iya kashe duniya gabaki daya a lokaci da ba zai iya ba in kace rayar ma da a ce zai iya rayar ba wadda ba zai iya rayar da kowa ba dai ma bai iya rayar ba balle da yawa to shi Allah ta'ala da da yawa da daya da dubai da biliyoyi duk dai ne a wajen sa abun abu ne guda umurni ya ce waya dai zai bada sai abun ya kasance shi sa shi Allah tabaarak wa ta'ala dole mutun ya karanci ayyukan sa ya san ikon da yake da shi gargado na karatu ya san shi ke sarrafar da komai shi ke jujuya al'amura shi ke sarrafar da al'amura shi ke tafiyar da al'amura shi ke tsayarwa inai ga dama kuma duk ba sa wahalar shi da halittan ku da tada ku ba wata abu ba ce ya wajen Allah ta'ala illa ka nafsin wahida sai ka mata da rai daya ko wato ainin mata da rai daya inna Allah shi Allah sami'un Allah mai jini yana jin komai Allah yana jin mu duk inda muke da wanda suke cikin ruwa da wanda suke tudu da wanda suke a boye da wanda suke a sarari ko cikin duhu ko cikin haske ko mutun yana shi kadai ko yana cikin jama'a Allah yana jin shi ko fi karancin abin da zai mutsi Allah yana jin sa tafiyan kiyashi a cikin duhun dare Allah ta'ala yana 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 jin wannan tafiyan kuma yana ganin wannan tafiyan to shi sa al'amari na Allah dole duk wanda yake da imani ya kara girma mu Allah idan ma yana yi da ya kara ya kara gode mu Allah idan ma yana yi ya kara saboda Allah tabaarak wa ta'ala ya wuce da mutun yake Allah tabaarak wa ta'ala ce sami'un shi mai jini basirun shi mai gani ne Allah tabaarak yana ganin komai yana kuma jin komai a da mulkin sa mai iko ne bisa komai duk abin da ya dama shi ke tabbata amma da zatin sa yana sama bisa al'arshin sa ya daidaita amma a ko ina mutun yake Allah yana ganin mutun Allah ta'ala yana jin mutun shi sa ake so mutun na kwarai idan to kar Allah ta'ala ya ji daga wajen ka sai abin da yake so kada Allah ta'ala ya ga wani abu daga wajen ka sai abin da Allah ta'ala ya yadda shi zai gani kana yi da yawa za ga wa'annan sunayen Allah ta'ala da siffofin sa ana ta hadda cewa daga ci asami albasir to abin da ake so kai na imani bayan ka yadda yana gani bayan ka yadda yana ji to ayyukan ka su nuna haka idan za ka yi wani aiki shin Allah ya yadda ka yi wani aiki shin za ka ji dadi Allah ya ganka kana wani aikin da bayi su sai ka tura cewa yana ganin ka sai ka ƙin wani aiki haka nan kai ya ganka a inda bayi su shin Allah yana so ya ganka wani aiki a'a to kar ka ji wannan 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 shine imani ai kace da sunayen Allah tabaarak wa ta'ala da siffofin sa Allah ya kara mana imani Allah the most says your creations and your resurrection is nothing except like that of a single soul consider all the population of this world and consider those who died those coming in future all of them no matter how many they are they are creation in in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all of them killing them and resurrecting them is just like creating a single soul and resurrecting a single soul meaning there is no difficulty whatsoever with Allah the most high to create all of the creatures of this earth or human beings in, on this earth and there is nothing difficult with Allah the most high to resurrect all human beings who died it is as easy as 
saying, Kun Fayakun. It's just a mere command. If Allah said, Let that thing be, so it is. Meaning, it will just be as Allah the Most High wants it to be. Allah the Most High is great. Inna Allah Sami'un Basir. Allah the Most High is indeed Sami'. All hearing. Basirun. And Allah the Most High also is all seeing. Allah sees and He hears. In the light of His saying that uh, nothing is unlike Him. Laysa kamithili shay wa huwa Sami'ul Basir. So for those of us who believe in the names and the attributes of Allah the Most High, such as as Sam' wal Basar, should go beyond memorizing such names, knowing their meanings, but also applying the teachings of those names. If you accept that Allah is Sami', it's all hearing, you should not allow Allah the Most High to hear you doing or to hear any form of immorality uh, from you. If you know that Allah is uh, seeing, don't allow Allah the Most High to see you committing any form of immorality. This means that beyond knowing the qualities, you know the meaning, and beyond knowing the meaning, you apply the impact or the message of, that, of those names. With this, by the grace of Allah, you will see yourself behaving well because if you know that Allah sees you, you will not allow yourself to go where you will disobey Allah. If you agree that Allah the Most High hears you, you will not allow your mouth to utter anything that is a, an act or an utterance that is an act of disobedience. Alam tara anna Allah yulijun layla fin nahari wa yulijun nahara fin layl wa sakhara shamsa wal qamara kullu yajri ila ajalim musamma wa anna Allah bima ta'amaluna khabir Alam tara anna Allah yulijun layla fin nahari ويؤلج النهار في الليل أشباك نورابك غني شوى الله تبارك وتعالى شيك شجد دوات وعين دري شكيني سأل من شجد ديني أشكين دري ينزمنا لوك شكيني منا تفيا منا تفيا سيك أنشي كرفي شدة كرفي شدة دربي بقوي صورا قطع بقوي صورا من تيبوما لوك شند لا دري لا داني كي كرن a sallama garba rana ta fadi sai kuma duhu ya soma shigowa kadan 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 har a zo a kai ga lokacin da aka shiga duhu sosai dare ya shigo wai shin wa yake wannan aiki wani bature ne yake zaune yake da wata na'ura wanda yake tabawa sai ya dinga murdawa sai ka ga abin na tafiya wannan na shiga wa yake wannan kuma kullun haka ake idan daren ma kuma ya shigo shi ma ka dai dinga tafiya yana tafiya yana tafiya can sai ka jira dan ya kira kiran sallah na farko can sai ya kira na biyu alfiji ta keto gari yana waye wa yana waye har ya waye gaba daya wake wannan aiki kuma tunda akai duniya haka ake samu ai dan adam ya shiga akwai dan bibi allah saboda duk duniya ba mai iya wannan aiki duk karatun ka duk ilimin ka duk abin da ka sani na boko ba ka iya wannan aikin da Allah zai tsaye da abinsa lokaci guda ba mai iya motsar da shi shi Allah ta'ala yake buga madan adam misalai daban-daban a cikin alqur'ani shin ba ka gani ne ya Allah Allah ta'ala shi ba ka lura bane ko kana jin haka kawai abin yake shi da kansa yake shigar da kansa Allah ta'ala ce alam tara anna Allah yulijul layla fin في النهار ويولج النهار في الليل الله شيء كشجر دواته أين دري شكين يني سأن نشجر ديني أشكين دري كما ون يكون الله تعالى ولوك جسى سنيا يني يلان تويا بيسو كما أنا دنعن تاج إن نكشي أبانغري إن الدنيا كما مو ينزو يني 
ya fi tsawo akan dare wani lokaci a wani sai ka ga canza ya koma yini da dare dare suke wani lokaci muka samu dare ya fi yini tsawo wasu kasashen ma tsawon bambancin yana da yawa shi ya samu alhamdulillah za ka samu azumin da muke a najeriya galibi ba ya wuce awa 14 galibi ba ya wuce awa 14 daga karfe 5 zuwa karfe 7 inda kuma alfiji zai kifitowa hudu da rabi sai ka samu su kasashen ruwa da wuri awa 14 wani lokaci ma idan abun ya juya ko ba lokacin azumi wani ka samu awa 13 wani lokaci ma ka samu awa 12 wake wannan shigar wanda fitarwa idan ba Allah Allah shi kadai ke wannan aiki kuma in ambata wasu kasashe kuma sai ka samu yinin su wajen awa 17 idan mutun yana irin wannan garin in yana da wani kasa irin najeriya sai ya gude je wajen ya azumi idan ka ƙara azumi ya koma can domin ya samu sauki to Allah ta alaki wannan aiki ba dan adam ba wanda ke wannan ya isa kadai wannan in ka duba ya isa mutun ya bauta mu Allah ba tare ya hada shi da wani ba وسخر الشمس على شيء هوري من واتو عينين رانا والقمر دا واتو عينين وتا كل دكان سو يجري سنا غدانا الى اجل مسمى ازوا وان وجه لوكاشي كيدددي وان اجلي ودا يكي كيدددي با اوتي وان اجلين واكي دا وان اجلين اوجن سا الله تبارك وتعالى هاغو ان منيا منيا هالتو غدا بيو وتا دا رانا الله تبارك وتعالى كي غدانا دا سو ba su ke gudanar da kansu kuma kowannensu yana da fa'idodi daban-daban da ke cewa dan adam da watan nan yanzu muke kirye muka ce yau 18 da ba shi misali ba za ka iya gane ba a ce wata ba ya kamawa haka wake dulum fita ya za ka gane cewa an shiga wannan ko an shiga wannan sai dai kai ta lalube cikin duhu amma da wannan watan nan ramadan ya kare za ka ga watan ya saki kamawa na shawal يسألون لك عن الأهلة كل هي مواقيت للناس صلى الله عليه وسلم أكم وطا جارير وطا كتير لو كتاني دلان أدم كي يغاني واتفتن وطا دا كاما وانسا دا كونا أيني واتو أيني كاري وانسا دوغو إنا مفايدو ديني رانا بذاك إرغا إيا فايدو ديني رانا تكي بامد دان أدم سوما سنا قداني يعني سنا قداني يعني يزوان أجل كايدان دي da ikon Allah tabarak wa ba dan adam ke gudanar da su to shi sa irin wannan karantarwa na kimiya na zamani na ilimi ya kamata a dinga kawo Allah a ci wannan awoyin a dinga hada su a ciki ana kawo su ana bayanin su ga dalibai wa anna Allah la shi Allah bima ta'maluna khabirun Allah masani ne yana da sanin komai alimun masani ne amma ka ce khabirun masanin dukkan wato duk abin da ka sani komin karancin sa Allah ta'ala yana sanin shi to shi sa in mutun ya yadda Allah ta'ala masanin komai ne to ya dinga yin abin da Allah tabarak wa ta'ala zai yabe shi tunda Allah ya sani kai da dinga abin da Allah ta'ala zai dinga sa a tsine wa mutum saboda munin aiki Allah ƙara mana imani na still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue mentioning bringing down to our understanding so that we believe in the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of creation and that will drive us and lead us to identifying or recognizing Allah the most high and then we worship him Allah says alam tara anna allaha yulidu al-layla fi an-nahar don't you know don't you see won't you consider and understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yulidu al-layla fi an-nahar he causes a light the night to enter an nahar to enter the day wa yulidu an-nahara fi al-layl and he causes the day to enter the night this is something if our attention is not drawn to will just consider it as automatic or just a mere coincidence however there are great lessons for us to learn from that and that's how they will continue to do to the end of ramadan except those of them who have the means 
of traveling to a country whereby they fast for short hours, he has a resident or he can hire a hotel. Throughout Ramadan, he will be in Nigeria where we have less number of hours we spend in fasting. So who is doing this? If it has never come to your uh, thinking, now it has been brought down to your understanding. It is a question you are being asked. Who is, don't you see, don't you recognize, can't you identify? Who is doing that? No one does that except Allah the Most High. Another thing which Allah is asking, can't you see and can't you reflect that wasakhara shamsa wal qamar? Don't you see that Allah the Most High uh, subjected a shams, the sun, wal qamara and the moon? He subjected them for our own benefit. The sun is serving us human beings. The moon is serving us. So many benefits we are deriving from them, those you know and those you do not know. If there is no sun, if there is no moon, there is no way if you are asked how old are you, you say I am 20 or 30 years ago. Because you do not know, you can't distinguish between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you cannot do that, how can you know that it is one week? How can you know that it is one month? How can you know that it is 12 months and it is complete one year? You won't be able to know. And there is no way you can record events as they happen in history. 2019, this, 19, this, it is not going to be possible. So the world will just be a chaos. You can't understand anything. So, and then the sun and the moon serve us in making us to get food because without sun, you cannot get green vegetation. In your simple biology, you read what is known as photosynthesis. Without sunlight, there is no way you can get green vegetation. Without that, there is no way you can get food. Without food, you cannot live on this earth. So, that's why Allah says, uh, shamsa wal qamara. Allah the Most High subjected a shamsa wal qamar, the sun and the moon, in order to serve us and in order to bring about benefits to us and make us comfortable to live on the surface of this earth so that we will be able to serve Allah the Most High to the best of our ability. And each of these two mighty creatures of Allah, the sun and the moon, Yajri is running to a fixed term. It's moving in its orbit to a fixed term. Allah the Most High has the time for the moon. You are going to move in your orbit for so so number of years. If that term expires, the assignment of the moon has come to an end. If that term has expired in terms of the sun, its own assignment has come to an end and the day of judgment will come. A fixed term. So by the time it expires, no more assignment. The sun will stop, the moon will stop, no day, no night, and the sun will appear from another direction that it does not use to appear. Then comes the day of Tiyam. And uh, don't you know that? Don't you accept and believe that and Allah, indeed Allah the Most High, Concerning what you are doing, all you are doing, whether hidden or manifest, Khabirun, Allah is aware. Allah is acquainted. He does not need to take report or briefs from anybody. Rather, Allah the Most High, His knowledge encompasses everything. He knows everything at a time and He is aware of what is happening at whatever point in time. No one needs to tell Allah the Most High that so so thing happens at so so place. So, so thing happens at so so place, and where he does not want to report, he will hide and suppress fact. No, Allah the Most High does not need such reporters. He knows everything. This is the point, inshallah, we are going to stop to continue tomorrow by the grace of Allah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.